Daniel from Web and SEM here. Today we're going to be talking about remarketing. So, what is remarketing? Let's say you want to serve ads to people that have already visited your website or application. Well, that's exactly what remarketing does. It's a great way for you to re-engage your brand with people that have shown interest by visiting your website or application. Now, it's really cool because sometimes, and salespeople know this, sometimes it takes five up to sometimes eight times of a contact, contacting specific people that have shown interest before they'll actually buy from you. That's what remarketing does. You can, you can re-engage them while they're uh, searching on the browser, on the Google browser. You can re-engage them while uh, they're visiting websites throughout the Google Display Networks network, which has about 80% coverage of all websites. You can, um, you can remarket to them while they're on YouTube you, uh, using video ads. Now, one thing I do have to say is if you're going to use video ads, I would make your ad about 30 seconds or less. Under a minute is good, but 30 seconds or less is better because they don't want to, you know, people don't go to YouTube to see your commercial. They go to see videos. And if you make the video too long, sometimes people aren't always right there to skip your ad on the skippable ads. And they get like, ah, these guys are getting on my nerves. They're stalking me everywhere. Yeah. So I suggest making it a nice, concise message if you're going video, which uh, also you can use on display and video reach and frequency. Now, reach and frequency limits how many times you show your ad to a specific user. It, be, for the same reason, it's good to re-engage your brand, but you don't want to continually just overload them with your message. They'll start to be like, these guys are stalking me. I don't, I don't like these guys. They're kind of getting on my nerves. You, so you want to limit, limit it. You know, usually you reach in frequency. They suggest five is a good number, showing their, them the same, showing them an ad five times. Now, another really cool thing about remarketing is you can show ads. You can build audiences in analytics that show ads to people that have shown interest in, in specific products. So they've been to a, a product page. They, let's say you have a, a running wear of sneakers and they, they visited a specific page within them. They like the blue sneakers. They like the blue Nike running shoes. So you can re-show that, re-engage them. Say they're browsing throughout the web. They're on a different website. They see your sneakers they're like, oh yeah, I wanted those sneakers. They click on your ad, you have a sell. It's brilliant. It's really, really, really cool. Now, remarketing does require you to have Google Analytics set up and for you to enable the remarketing. That's where you can set your audiences. Um, it's really, really cool. But if you don't know how to do it, you should contact a Google certified representative. Now, like someone at Web and SEM. Now, I, I, I suggest, you know, you might be able to thump, fumble through it on your own. Now, it does take a, a bit of setup and a bit of work, but and there are lots of videos on the setup process and, and how to build your audiences. I, I, I suggest searching the web through that if that's the route you want to go. But I strongly suggest you use a Google certified representative anyways because they've been through the education. They know all the tricks. They know where everything's located. They, they know, um, you know, the, the platform inside and out. Um, contact us at Web and SEM. Click the button. Don't forget to subscribe and you guys have a wonderful day.